I always find myself lost to the ocean. Every time I stand at the beach, its beautiful waves seem to whisper to me, giving me calmness, serenity, making me forget reality. I grew up near a beautiful beach in a fishing community in Malaysia. And because of that, I got to eat fresh fish almost every day. Every weekend, I would go to the beach to watch the sunset, to watch fishermen on their boats going back home. It made me realize how important the ocean is to me. I always feel a connection to the ocean no matter where I go. Even when I'm thousands of miles away from Malaysia, the ocean connects me to the place I call home. But the ocean has changed over the years. Whether I'm in Malaysia or Oregon, I hear about the same problems. Ocean acidification, pollution, and habitat destruction. This always makes me sad to know that my childhood memory is not going to be the same anymore. So when we think about changes, you have to think about the coastal ocean. It's an evolved system that's used to certain patterns and rhythms. And that starts in the spring when the upwelling winds begin. You get plankton growth, and that lasts sometime through September, October. That's the growing season. So what we're looking for are changes to that rhythm, whether you're lengthening that growing season or you're shortening it or you're getting more upwelling or less, or if you're getting this warm upper layer that kind of caps things off. If we're going to tackle all of the changes that are happening out in the ocean, spaces and institutions such as the reserves are going to be critical. And again, that collaboration between the scientific community and the people who help facilitate their science, that's crucial too. I decided to join the Marine Reserves Volunteer Program because I wanted to be a part of the collaboration between the natural resource communities here on the coast and the science that they're doing in our new marine reserves. I think in order to protect this place, that has to happen. I started volunteering with the hook and line because it gave me a chance to reconnect or connect with the ocean. And when we're out there, we're seeing what is happening to our ocean. We're seeing species move from one area to another and species in decline and we're seeing new species come in. The future of the ocean and the future of the coast is nothing for me to worry about because it's gonna survive. It's always been here, it will always be here. But the overriding concern is what about the people? What's gonna to happen to them? The Marine Reserves Volunteer Program gives me a sense of optimism. I feel a little bit more connected um, to the surroundings through the program because a lot of the volunteer opportunities occur in places that aren't accessible anymore. It is amazing what education does because now they're learning something new that they probably never ever thought about. And when they learn about that, they get that connection and they develop this love and that is when they're going to start doing things. No matter where you are, there is lots of opportunity to contribute to the solution. I'm optimistic that these kinds of volunteer programs will help us to get on a more sustainable path into the future.